So um, on this last example, again, to break this up step by step, day by day, <coughs> what we're going to do again, ladies and gentlemen, is the first thing when you guys are doing these problems, and I'll go over this over this and over this, is determine the LCM. Now, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, we see that there's no initial like common multiples that these share, right? These are two separate expressions. So therefore, to find the LCM, it's actually fairly easy. It's actually a little bit easier than some of the ones we've done. It's just going to be the product of those two expressions. Least, yeah, least, least common multiple, lowest common multiple. Um, so now, we just need to produce both common multiples. So to get x plus 5 as x plus 5 times x plus 4, we need to multiply it by x plus 4. Here, I need to multiply by x plus 5. OK, now I, don't, I should have put a 2 or something up there, but that's OK. So in this example, I now have x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 times x plus 4, and then plus x plus 4 over x plus 4 times x plus 5. So now you guys see I have two fractions, right? Just like the first problem we did, two fractions with the same denominators. So when we have the same denominators, I don't need parentheses here, we combine the numerators. Well, I have x's, those are common terms. And I have two constants, those are common terms. So I combine them and I get 2x plus 9 all over x plus 5 times x plus 4. And again, I would recommend, Q, before you multiply this, is to write the constraints. x cannot equal negative 5 and x cannot equal negative 4. Ah, uh, where are you looking at? No. Well, yeah. If you if you divide them out, then you're going. If you divide these back out, you're still left with one plus four. So we never added them. Remember, the purpose is to add these together. Thank you, Q. Thank you, Jay Z. Thank you. <laughs> 